guys, it's Sunday and um, Alex has just run out to grab a couple of groceries and I had a shower and I just finished doing a Christmas tag video, um, which will probably be up before this video. And I'm just about to edit some video from yesterday, but I just wanted to start off my day by showing you guys Alex's special purchase um, that he got. Um, he got lots of birthday money back in October and he also um, got like Christmas bonus and all this fun stuff at work. So he decided to treat himself to a little something and, um, and let me just say that once he, um, cause it was all in us dollars. So once he paid for the, f for the item and the shipping and then to get it framed, um, I think it ended up costing more than my most expensive Reborn doll. <laughs> so, um, I'm okay with that because I spend a lot on my dolls. And so I think it's good that he decided to splurge on himself for once. So I just wanted to show you guys. It is this painting. Um, and I, I'm not sure... Ooh, I'm not sure who the artist is, but it is, um, I like it. It's really pretty. It's like a tree and it's called something about the infinite. And I think Alex said it, that the artist said it's supposed to, um, represent, um, life or I, I don't, I don't remember the whole, there's a whole story to it. Um, but I think it's like supposed to represent life and, um, and just like, I don't know, mother nature or something to that effect. <laughs> so anyways, his dad came yesterday and went with him to pick it up because as you can see, it is almost as wide as the headboard on our bed. <laughs> <laughs> it is a really big painting. Um, so his dad came by and helped to um, pick it up and helped to hang it. So, and I really think it was a perfect place for it because this wall has always been so bare and I actually really like the way it looks. If I can give you like an overall look, sorry, our bed is not made yet, but it's like messy and stuff, but you can just see like, it just kind of adds to the wall. I think it's really beautiful. So yeah. So, um, he's really excited about that. So that's good. And I thought I would just go over here into the hallway and show you what Elfie's up to today and Comet as well. They are over here reading the night before Christmas. <laughs> it's really cute. So that's what they're doing. And I've put, um, the Grinch and Max the dog in the hallway here near the tree. So they're kind of like, they're there and they're just, but they're like, you know, out of the way we can still walk by. It's always such a narrow pathway here around this time of year because this is the only place we can put the tree and um we have our shelf here so it's like whoa <laughs> like trying to get through so um yeah so anyways basically my plan today like i've just been having a relaxing morning and it is now like quarter after four in the afternoon but i'm hoping that um before the day is done I can convince Alex to make my gingerbread kit with me and we can video it. I don't know if I can convince him because he's very difficult to get in my videos, but um, we'll see if I can convince him. If not, um, I might get Grace in on it and we're going to build a gingerbread house today and that's pretty much it. So we'll check in later with our gingerbread house building and... Yeah, we'll see how it goes. I've never built one before, so <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Nice. Okay, so 
I'm assuming these are the walls. No, dude. No, that's the roof. No. Oh. Okay. Yeah. No, no, no. What? Like this. <coughs> See? Okay. <laughs> so just okay, do the bottom. So we just do like we put it along yeah, yeah. here. I just wanna how do I know how far to put it? What do you mean how far? Like because you wanna leave the room, right? Okay, well, hold on. How do you keep it? Up? It says to use like something to support it. These, like, where do you put these guys? I'm, I'm wondering if I should have moved back more. Should I like put it back more? Like that. So that there's a bit more room at the front. Yeah. I don't think we need, we just need it enough to balance it up. <laughs> there we go. That's the air bubble in there. No, we need to do the bottom too. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Got that teased. <laughs> Down. Wait, wait. What? The wall's falling down. Maybe we should have waited to put the roof on. Because it has to go like this. No, that looks like. Here? Mm. Why? It's on the inside, it doesn't matter. Okay, well, let's do Maybe the... I'll just do another thing like now that it's together. Just like right down the middle. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, that's what's wrong. <laughs> <clears throat> what do you. I don't know. <laughs> that's beautiful. <laughs> Do the red now. <laughs> what about his face? Put the beats. Oh well, what are you gonna do for the mouth? Mouth will be red. Okay, yeah, don't do the inside red, just do the mouth and then we'll put the bead things. Oh, 
Looks like a uh, ghost. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, we'll put put the uh, things in the button. I'll do gold. So there's a difference. There you go. Here. Should we go do all three? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go. It's fun. Oh. <laughs> Good God, these are. So much left. Okay. It says on the thing to do that last. Yeah, how? The thing just falls off. Um, do you want to use the white to outline them? No, no, I was just going to do the red oh, right here. okay. But... It doesn't have to be perfect, huh? I know, but... Considering I've never done this before. <sighs> I guess the windows will be white. Yeah. That flows like a lot easier, so. The way? Yeah. Should I do the bars also? White? Everything? The window? Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't make sense to him. Yeah, anything. just do the whole thing. Silver bars. Silver bars. Can you start recording? Yeah. <laughs> There's a thing called editing, dude. <coughs> <laughs> Just jump against it. Oh, Lord. That's not going to do it. Let me do it. Maybe the white is better. No. <laughs> I don't know. I find these ones are like more dry or something than the white one. No, there's like an air bubble in here. I know, that's what I'm saying. Basically, you gotta do it from the top and bottom. Mm -hmm. Ah, so close. What the hell? Yeah, I don't know why it keeps doing that. Okay, let's stick these on. The other side. Oh shoot! This is goofing down. These or these? Well, I should put some of these along the other part of the house, the back part. Like I did on that front. 
Should we just do some of these? Let's do these. Okay. Do those, and then I'll do these again. What color should I do? This white? Sure. What? I don't care. It doesn't matter what color you need. Massage it. Maybe I could put a little snowman looking out of the circle window. holding the tree. This is where I can play the clock sound. Don't lean it back. I'm not leaning it back! I'm not leaning it back. Keep going. God, this is annoying. You're leaning it back. I'm not leaning. Yes, you are. Oh, my fingers are like... <clears throat> uh, Here is our finished gingerbread house. Alex decided to write A plus K. We've got little rosebud bushes, a really messed up looking snowman that I did, funny looking gingerbread man, and what well, the Christmas tree came out all right. Looks pretty good. There's some more rosebuds. And over here. Little trees and snowmen. And there's the back. Alright. Five more days to Christmas. How are you today, Riley? Hmm? What are you doing? 
So I just finished watching this movie, one of my favorites, with Kirk Cameron. It's a really, really sweet story. And so I think I'm going to grab one of the babies to cuddle because I haven't done that in a while. And I'm going to watch one of our kids' Christmas specials. I think I might watch the Fraggle Rock one because um, I didn't get a chance to watch it last year. And um, our friend Nicole sent it to us. And it is this Fraggle Rock Christmas special. So I think we'll check that out. And then after that, I think I'm going to head off to bed, guys. So I'm going to end this vlog here. And I hope you enjoyed watching us with our first um, gingerbread house experience. <laughs> we had a lot of fun doing it. Um, it was definitely interesting. <laughs> um, it's our first time doing it, so it's not the best but it turned out pretty good <laughs> so um it was fun to do that together so i'm just i'm glad that he did it with me and so i hope you guys enjoy the video of it um, uh yeah i can't believe it is now five days till christmas wow i personally consider it four even though our countdown counts Christmas Day as a day. I never count Christmas Day because I feel like once the 24th is over and you go to bed, that's it. There's there's not one extra day. You just wake up and it's Christmas. So for me, it's actually, to me, it's four days till Christmas, really. But our countdown calendar says five. So <laughs> personally for me, though, it is four. Um, so yeah <laughs> all right guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up if you did and guys give alex a thumbs up for being in my video because that was awesome so thanks guys have a good night and we'll see you in the next video bye okay go ahead <laughs> when i pooped what came out of my butt fiery poops <laughs> <laughs> When I pooped, what came out of my butt? Morgan Freeman's voice. <laughs> you I had someone living up there. I don't know. When I pooped, what came out of my butt? The forearms of Vishnu. <laughs> when I pooped, what came out of my butt?